I'm delighted now to welcome to the Beer and Honey Pod, Michi Koblenz. Michi Koblenz is the chairman of Maccabi Berlin. And Maccabi Berlin did something historic this weekend. They actually took part in the first round of the DFB Pokal after they won their local Berlin Cup to qualify, of course, also for the first time. Now, the game itself was a little bit one-sided. Falfe Wolfsburg, who are, of course, a much bigger side with professional players, etc., came there and won 6-0. But that really wasn't the story of the weekend, uh, Michi, was it? Uh, give us a little bit of a flavor of how you experienced the weekend and the bigger significance of this first ever participation of a Jewish club in the DFB Pokal. First of all, thank you for having me. Um, well, actually, the day yesterday was... Uh the highlight of something we have worked to for the last four, six weeks. Because you can imagine for a team which is uh, by far not professional and also uh, the uh, the managers behind the team are by far not professional. They have all their jobs. Uh, to organize such an event uh, is an enormous effort and, and an enormous challenge. I mean, the day we received the handbook of uh, the day of pay, uh, how to uh, arrange uh, a cup game like that one, uh, we were basically all collapsing because <laughs> we, we had no idea, we didn't know, and there were people among us who said, why did we win the local cup? We, we, <laughs> because these will be the most uh, tragic four, six weeks ahead. Um, uh, but, but, Michi, let me yeah. interrupt you. Yeah. What was the most shocking thing you found in this book? Where you all uh, were thinking, oh, Oh, uh, how, how can we solve this problem? I, I, I can tell you, uh, you have heard of Sky, right? Yes, of course. <laughs> so suddenly people are from Sky are popping up and I know Sky from Saturdays. Um, I'm on my couch. It's 3.30 and we have Bundesliga conference. Yeah, so this is what I know about Sky. And then guys from Sky come to us and say, what's your thing? Where should we position the cameras? And I'm like... I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. So uh, these were things like that, technical questions. And what was completely overwhelming, and I think this was the question of uh, Rafi, we would have never expected the degree of uh, media attention that we received as Maccabi Berlin in the last four or six weeks. We understood that like right at the beginning that this will be something unique, something special also to the media and to us anyway. But um, listen, uh, we had uh, articles in Washington Post, in all Israeli magazines and newspapers. We had uh, agencies from Argentina approaching us. I don't speak of the RD documentary, uh, which we had, um, Süddeutsche Zeitung, Frankfurt Eis. It, it was crazy. And like and the media ended up at, with me, and to be honest, I'm not a, a. Usually, they call me and say, and they ask, "Who is uh, in charge for for the media in your in your club?" I'm like, nobody. <laughs> so um, I needed to get used to it. So I forgot about my original job. I'm an entrepreneur. I have like 40 employees. They haven't seen me for the last 30 days. <laughs> so um, to cover uh, this was amazing. It makes me proud. Um, I think. The team and us, we managed to create something which was something completely unheard of. If I'm not mistaken, this was the biggest sportive accomplishment of a Jewish team outside Israel. And um, we couldn't be prouder. And yesterday, uh, this was just a highlight. To be honest, the moment the referee started the game, we were just enjoying because uh, the, the result at the end of the, of the day was not relevant to us at all. You had 5,000 people in the Momsen Stadion. Uh, yes. uh, I think probably also the biggest uh, support you had in your club history. To be frank, we had 4,500 uh, for the Berlin Cup final. Um, and I think that the atmosphere there, like six weeks ago, was even big, a bit better, like from our end at least. I'll tell you why, because... Um, 
we have summer holidays for uh, for schools and universities and so forth. So, so many of our like friends, supporters of Maccabi, there are some somewhere else, not not in Berlin, um, but still, of course, five thousand uh, spectators is fantastic for for our team. And I think the first twenty minutes, this was pretty visible to to our players that. Uh, to, to be confronted with such an amazing team and 5,000 spectators was something special. That's not something they're doing every Saturday or Sunday. Michi, tell us a little bit about the, the background of your club, uh, the history of Maccabi uh, in Germany and why this is such a momentous occasion, especially after the, yeah, in, in post-war Germany. The club has been founded 1898 um, under the name Bar Kochba as a, as a Jewish club, has been super popular in the 20s. They had around 40,000 members. Um, Jews were banned from German clubs, so they were pretty much forced to go to create their Jewish clubs and go to and, and, and play there. Um, 1938, all Jewish clubs have been banned, and the Holocaust came. Um, so there was no Jewish sports since 1945, and then 1970, some very confident, optimistic, courageous Holocaust survivors here in Berlin decided that it's that the time is ripe for another Jewish club, and. Um, well, the club was uh, not very visible for many, many years. Um, even today, to be frank, we have around 550 members, which is basically nothing compared with the numbers the club had in the 20s of last century. Um, but what makes this achievement so important is the fact that we gained huge visibility in the last weeks. And I think this is uh, very, very important, not only as a club, as a, but as a Jewish community in Germany, but maybe also in Europe. And, um, you know, uh, before that event, I've been contacted by journalists only if there were any anti-Semitic incidences. And this was actually the first time that uh, we were celebrated and praised for for our sportive success and for the achievements um, of our of our sportsmen what's interesting about the team that uh, played in the cup uh, yesterday was um, i think there's only one jew in the in 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 the in, in the first team is that true like in the in the starting uh, team yes all in all at the moment in the entire squad we have uh, three three Jewish players. But this is this is uh, uh, also very important to us and makes us very proud. We consider ourselves being very open uh, to, to sportsmen and people from different nationalities, faiths. Uh, we're here for diversity and we are, we are not a, you know, we are not a religious club. Yeah, people come there to do sports, but they're aware of Jewish history and uh, Jewish culture. You know, so, so so maybe that's also some a bit of, yeah, it's symbolic that in, in the 30s of last century, we've been banned. And that's from German teams. And that's our learning. We um, we are open to everyone. So Michi, look, looking back at the actual game in the day yesterday, what kind of reaction did you get in the dressing room after the game? And what kind of pride did you sense among your players having been part of this, despite the result? I think indeed there were some players who've been disappointed, to be honest, because at the end of the day, they're footballers and everybody believes that ah, maybe somehow we can uh, we can win that game. Um, yeah, so so I have seen, to be frank, some, some disappointment, which surprised me, but I think uh, this makes this team even more sympathetic. Uh, but still, at the end of the day, they came, uh, we had like a some sort of a VIP tent and then they came to the tent afterwards and we were celebrating the team and uh, we had a Jewish Jewish rapper to perform for the team. Uh, I think this this day will stay with them 
for the years to come. And not only for them, but I think for everybody who was involved in the organization, who, who is part of the club, most probably not only in Berlin, but who's, who's part of the Maccabi movement worldwide. I can tell you, I've got, I received WhatsApp messages from, from Israel. So, hey, we have seen, it was live on, live on free TV in Israel, which is also a huge message. So um, I, have, I have a lot of friends who followed the game. Um, at the end, there's going to be only, only pride. But yes, if you, if you, would have asked our, our footballers yesterday yesterday evening they would have to, uh, told you ah we expected more uh, before we let you go michi um does that this uh, day yesterday probably um create some hunger to be more successful uh, football wise in the in the future i mean you've been promoted last season But uh, is this uh, what you say? Ah, this is a start. We 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 want to climb higher up the leagues, or would you say no, no? Um, the most important aspect is the grassroots and uh, to develop us uh, there as a club. What what's your, especially in the light of of, of this game uh, yesterday? We are very hungry. <laughs> we are very <laughs> hungry. This means that uh, we have the clear goal to get promoted into Regionalliga uh, this season, um, which is a serious challenge because we have a lot of uh, strong teams in our league and only one team gets promoted. So, um, yes, it's a, it's a challenge, but uh, yes, we are hungry, uh, 100%. But the major challenge of the club is because... Usually you can do one thing, either like promote and push and boost your, your, your I say, semi-professional team or, or you invest into the youth uh, division. Um, we will cope with the challenge to do both because this is indeed um, a problem we are having that um, the youth teams are not there where we want to have them. But we see that the, the success we are experiencing in the last weeks and already months gives us a lot of popularity um, in Berlin and we have new players to join the club uh, also in younger ages. So uh, we are positive to cope with both tasks. Best of luck for that. Thank you so much for joining us. It was a pleasure. It was my Thank pleasure. you. Thank you so much.